Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. Keep your eyes peeled, Marston. Good morning, Arthur. What are you up to? Taking a head and out a bit. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I... Well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there, I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. I ain't never robbed in a city before. Well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Or Crystal Boys are coming! Get 
those doors down pretty quick. Good. Now, everyone, I got this. Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go. Maybe not the door. What the hell? Damn it. Is everyone accounted for? I think. Hey. I said it's everyone accounted for. Okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. <clears throat> he saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess.
Stranger, these raiders are insane. Just let me get this off, boy. Come on, girl. Yep. Let's get this on you, boy. Let's go, boy.
enough room to stable here. Half life by I'll give you. you a fair price. It's been better. Sorry, but without the papers, I can't pay you full price. That's a fine steed. Got some stable space for rent, if you're interested. I know you. Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, I... uh, to be clear, <laughs> he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. It's my people before you are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger. And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. 
Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the Senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Welcome to Kao Chao. I don't think I've seen you here before. Okay, now let me see. Oh, you don't mess around. I would definitely recommend that if you're looking for a repeater. I'm here to help if you need me. Now this should be fun. Neoma. Uh, excuse me. Here we go. 